hey guys welcome back welcome back to my youtube channel so like i said on our last video okay um i said um we're going to be taking an example right so um before we take an example we're going to let us look at we want to derive a constant right because we can't actually solve any question using the formula we derived in our last video if we don't have the value of this constant it is very 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 important so what is that constant that constant is the better of two one right so we need we actually need this constant now i'm going to be explain i'm going to tell you why we need this constant okay now let's 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 just start let's just solve an example right let's just solve an example then you understand why we actually need the value of this so now taking an example we are asked to find the value of b for comma three right this is better of four and three so now on the previous formula we derived right remember we derived the formula on our last video that says b of m n is equal to m minus one n minus one divided by m plus n minus one n plus n minus two b of m minus one n minus one so now we're going to be using this formula to solve like i said it's very very easier to use very very easy to use so now from here now from b of four and four from b of four and three what's my n my n is equal to four and my n is equal to three right comparing this with this my m is equal to four my n is equal to three so substituting it in the equation so this is equal to four minus one three minus one divided by four plus three minus one four plus three minus two b of m minus one that's four minus one that's three three minus one that's two this is b of four and three so simplifying this we'll be having um three times two right divided by four plus three that's seven minus one that's six and then four plus three that's seven minus one that's five of b three comma two so so from here now you see that well we're already having another beta function here so we take this one also so taking this b of three and two right where my m is equal to three and my n is equal to two we substituting back into the formula we have we'll be having uh, three minus one comma three mi two minus one right divided by three plus two minus one three plus two minus two right dot b of m minus one remember i I'm, i took this because this is also a better function right now we are going to be keep on we're going to keep solving this until we just like gamma function like i said we have to keep solving and solving until we get to the gamma of one over two right but in case of better function we have to keep solving until we get to the better of two and one two comma one that is why we need the value of this constant so now let's keep on solving so three three minus one that's two and two minus one that's one so we stop here so we stop here right so remember this is the value of beta of three of three comma two so we substitute we substitute back into the equation we took it from the, the equation we took for so b of four comma three right we got it to be three times two divided by six times five right dot then three minus one here we are which is two two minus one that's one divided by three plus two minus one that is four three plus two minus two that's three dot b of two and one so that is why we said we need the value of this because this definitely is a constant now you might be asking okay why can't we just use the formula to get the value of this okay now if we try to use the, the formula we derive to get the value of b two n minus one b of b two and one we'll be having um we'll be having one and zero now one and zero now what i'm trying to say is that if we try to use the formula to get this we'll be having zero why let's try it so uh b two and one right where m is two and n is one right substitute in the formula this is two minus one and substitute it in the formula that is um one minus one right divided by so this is already zero right so everything becomes what zero and if everything is zero this whole thing is what zero so we cannot use the formula because this is already zero because one minus one is zero so we cannot we can't use the formula so now we are we, we, we have we can use one formula to derive this 
So since b2 minus 1, we are looking for the value of b2 minus 1, right? To substitute this in our equation. So, but we know that b m minus n is equal to 2. Um, you know, b, b n minus n is equal to 2, the integral of 0 to pi over 2, 2 m sine 2 m minus 1 theta cos 2 n minus 1 theta d theta, right? We actually know this. So, we can actually use this to solve this. So, that means b. 2n minus b2 minus 1 anyway i see m i put 2 and anyway i see n i put 1 is equal to 2 integral from 0 to pi over 2 sine 2 times 2 minus 1 theta cos 2 my times 1 minus 1 theta d theta right so this gives me 2 um, integral of pi over, integral come from 0 to pi over 2 then sine 1, 2 minus 1, 2 times 2, 4, 4 minus 1, that's th um, 3, theta, cos 2 times 1, 2 minus 1, that's 1, so we have cos theta, d theta, right, so now we're just going to simply going to in integrate this and integrate, integrate this and put our limit, so integrating this, we'll be having, that means in integrating, we are integrating um, b of 2 minus b1, and b of 2, 1, that's 2, 0 to pi over 2, sine, d theta cos theta d theta right so we are going to be integrating this right so um this is just simply a simple integration when we say u is equal to sine theta right so du d theta becomes um cos theta right so anyway i see you i put sine theta anyway and du my d theta will now be replaced with um du over cos theta right so um taking it back to our integral we have 2 0 to pi over 2 sine um, of sine since sine theta is got to you so we're having u raised to power 3 then cos then my d theta replaced with the u over cos theta so this will cancel out this right so integrating two integrating this the u right so integrating this i'll be left with u that's 3 plus 1 that's 4 over 4 then applying my limit to pi over 2. Remember the constant stays. Right. So, um, solving that, um, or simplifying that, um, replacing you with the form, the the, 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 the function I, I substituted it for, and we said u is equal to sine theta, we will be left with 2, open bracket, sine, 4 theta, divided by 4, 0 to pi over 2. So, applying our limit, now sine theta itself is um, sine theta is 1 right remember this is sine theta raised to power 4 so this is 2 open bracket sine pi over 2 that's sine pi over 2 which is 90 right raised to power 4 divided by 4 minus sine 0 raised to power 4 divided by 4 see this is just what this limit is trying to say so this is 2 sine 90 itself this is sine 90 and sine 90 is 1 1 raised to power 4 is 1 so this is 1 over 4 right then minus zero then multiplying this this is just simply one over two so we see that the beta of two and one is one over two so not, not that for any question we solve we have we, we actually have to solve this to get one over two but since we actually know now that is one over two we don't need to solve now in any question so we just simply anyway when we get to the beta of two and one we just replace it replace it one over two so going back to our question which is which are asked to get the value of b of beta of four and three and we had this, this, and um, this, and this, divided by 6, 5, 4, and 3, and we had beta of 2 and 1, right? This is what we have before we decided to get the value of beta of 2 and 1. So, and we know now, we know now that the beta of 2 and, and 1 is one is half. So, this is 3, 2, 2, 1, 1 over 2, right? Divided by 6, 5, 4, three and two so this um becomes a very very now a very very easy way to simplify because this is three two and one we can take three two and one and this is two and one um we're having three two one i took this three and took two and two one then we're having two and one here also then divided both divide divided by three six five four three two then we can just add one because it's still the same then 3 to 1 we know this is 3 factorial and 2 1 we know this is 2 factorial 
then divide it divide both sides by now this we know this is six factorial so this is the value of beta of four and three so this is how you solve all question on um, beta of m and n very easy step or a very easy process so unless we are going to be looking at on another example so that you can easily understand so see you guys on the next video